Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Amit Chopra, working as assistant from uh, CSC department, MAU, Bade. Now we are going to discuss the scenario of clipping. We will discuss about the clipping, different operations, and its different type like point clipping, line clipping, area clipping, curve clipping, and the text clipping. Clipping is the process that eliminates the portion of the object that may be outside of the window or inside of the window. Now, there are the different scenarios related to the object's portion may be. It may be visible, invisible, or clipped. If element is entirely inside the window, it is considered as visible. In case of invisible, if and only if entirely portion of the object that is outside of the window. And it is for clipping if element is partially inside the window and partially outside the window, then it will be clipped. Now we can see the uh, example of the clipping. We have a polygon vertices and after clipping, we got the result right side. Now consider the case one. If there are lines inside the window, all lines will be visible. And in another case, if lines are outside of the window, all lines are invisible lines. Case three, if few portion of the line is inside the window and other portion is outside of the window, then there is need to be clipped that line. Now we will get the intersection point P1 and P2 and we will perform the clipping operation to get the other points B dash P1, A dash P2. Another case is that there are multiple lines. C and D line is completely visible, whereas E and F is invisible line. And last one is A and B. Portion of A up to the intersection will be visible and the, after that, the point B will be invisible. Now, clipping will be performed up from starts from intersection up to B point. Now we can compare all the cases as we discussed earlier. And this is the final result of the clipping over the multiple lines. There are different applications of the clipping. It is used to extract a specific portion of any object. It is used to identify the visible and invisible area in the 3D object. It can also be used to create the objects using solid modeling, and it can be used to perform the different operations like delete, copy, or move the parts of any object. Now we are going to discuss the different types of the clipping, point clipping, line clipping. Line clipping may have different algorithms like Cohen Sutherland, Leon Barsky, Nicole Nicole. In case of area clipping, we can use Sutherland, Hodman, or Willer Athron. Another case is the curve clipping and the text clip, clipping. In case of point clipping, we have to determine its coordinate, whether they are inside the window or outside the window. There are different four conditions like if x coordinate is less than x max or x coordinate is greater than x min. And in case of y coordinates, it should be less than y max and greater than or equal to y min. Only then the point will be visible, otherwise not. And in case of the line clipping algorithm, we are going to discuss Cohen's other land. There are the different cases like one line is completely inside of the window, another line is completely outside the window. And third one is the partially visible. 
and fourth one is also similar case. Now, if we divide the region to the nine different regions, then we can review the entire scenario. Like there are multiple lines. Line A B is visible case. Line O P is an invisible case. Line P Q is an invisible line. Line I J are clipping candidates because of they are partially visible. And line M and R clipping candidate and line C D are clipping candidate. Now we can see the region like this top right bottom left now we are going to mark the regions like top bottom right left and for the inside window coordinates are 0 0 0 0 in case of top first bit is equal to 0 sorry first bit is equal to 1 then or set all the bits 0, 0, 0. In case of bottom, set top bit equal to 0, then bottom bit equal to 1, then rest of all left right 0, 0. In this similar case, we are defining the codes for top, bottom, right, left. Like 1, 0, 0, 1, top left, 1, 0, 0, 0, top central, 1010 for right, top right, then center left 0, 0, 0, 1, central, central 0, 0, 0, 0. That means inside project is inside the window. Then center right is 0, 0, 1, 0. And for the bottom left, 0, 1, 0, 1. Bottom central, 0, 1, 0, 0. Bottom right, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, we have defined the regions code like this. Now we can consider in the visible case of a line having coordinates x, y, x1, y1, x2, y2. Now this is completely visible case. Now another case is that if x1, y1, x2, y2, all coordinates are outside the window, that is not visible. Now, this is the partial visible case called clipping candidate. X1, Y1 is coordinates are inside the window and X2, Y2 are outside of the window. Now, clipping is required. So, the, that was all about the Cohen Sutherland. Now, we are going to discuss Nicole Lee Nicole NLN line clipping algorithm. If there are multiple intersections, then these can be calculated using NLN line clipping algorithm. And it is, there may be more regions about the clipping window toward the multiple clipping steps for a single line. It is more efficient as compared to Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm. We can draw the different operations perform the operations related to the pointing of the object, delete, copy, move the parts of the object. Now, for a given line, we find the first of all, which region out of nine regions shown in the figure. There may be window region, edge region, corner region. If point falls in other region, then we transfer that point in one of the another three regions. By using the transformation, it can be extended to the multiple regions. And we can see there are different regions. Already discussed all these region in Cohen Sutherland earlier. Now we can see that there is a window region, edge region, corner region highlighted when using different colors. Based on the position of the first point, divided the whole space in new region, region with the intersection as marked as edge region. Now to, in order to find the region, we use slope of the boundaries, like slope P1, P, B1 must be less than 
slope p1 p2 less than slope p1 p b2 where p1 p b1 and p1 p b2 are boundary lines for example p1 is in edge region and for checking whether p2 is in region then left top we use following equation slope p1 p t r less than slope p1 p2 and it must be less than slope p1 p t l now we will get the equation like this y r minus y1 divided by x r minus x1 must be less than y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and this must be less than y t minus y1 x l minus x1 after changing the slope conditions we need to check whether it it crossing the 0 1 or 2 which is this can be done by comparing the coordinates of p2 with the coordinates of window boundary for left and right boundaries we compare x coordinate and for top bottom boundary we compare y coordinates if line is not fall in any defined region then clip entire line otherwise calculate intersection that can intersection can be calculated like x1 x equal to x1 plus bracket starts x2 minus x1 bracket cross into t y equal to y1 plus bracket starts y2 minus y1 into t for left or right boundary x equal to xi or xr respectively with t equal to bracket starts xi divided by r x1 bracket close divided by x2 minus x1 so on that y can be obtained from the parametric equation as below y equal to y1 plus y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into xl minus x1. Keep the portion which is inside and clip the rest of all. Now, similarly, for top bottom boundaries, y equal to yt or yv respectively, and t equal to bracket starts yt divided by b minus y1 and divide that value by y2 minus y1 so that we can calculate the x intercept as follow x equal to x1 plus x2 minus x1 divided by y2 minus y1 and bracket starts y2 minus y1 now we are going to start the polygon clipping a polygon boundary preserved with a line clip display as a series of unconnected line segments, but we want to display the bounded area after clipping. The output of a polygon clipper should be a sequence of vertices that defines the clipped polygon boundaries. Now we are going to discuss the Sutherland Hodgman algorithm, also known as divide and conquer strategies. Uh, in this case, polygons can be clipped against the, each edge of the window one at a time. Edge intersection, if any, are easy to find since x or y coordinates are already known. Vertices which are kept after clipping against one window, as are served for clipping against the remaining edges. Note that number of vertices usually changes and will often increases. Now starts from the right side boundary we have a polygon then toward go towards the bottom side then left then top in this case input each vertices successively outputs the new list of vertices each vertex goes through the four clippers the rule for each edge for each clipper is if first input vertex is outside and second is inside, output the intersection and second vertex. If both, if first both vertices are inside, then just output second vertex. If first input vertex is inside and second is outside, output is the intersection. If both vertices are outside, output is nothing. Now we can see the different scenarios. First of all, we want we do two vertices. V one is outside, another one is inside. Another thing, V one, V two, both are inside. Another scenario, V two is outside, whereas V one is inside. And last one is 
v1 and v2 both are outside so these are four possible scenario at each clipper now start from the left side use the left clipper then right clipper then bottom clipper and the top clipper now we can we, uh, we can have the different list of the vertices like v1 v2 v2 v3 v3 v1 then v2 v2 dash v3 dash v1 then v2 v2 dash v2 dash v3 dash v3 dash v1 v1 v2 then v2 dash v3 dash v1 v2 and after that v2 dash v3 dash v3 dash v1 v1 v2 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 dash so these are the edges and after that we will extract the vertices from that now just uh, review this example start from the left top right bottom and these are the different vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 6 7 8 9 and it is further corrected to the v1 after clipping operation we will get this thing only left top right button the result of the cohen hodgman algorithm now we are going to start the wheeler atheron clip polygon clipping it is capable of clipping of a concave polygon in case the vertices processing scissor for window boundaries are modified so that concave polygon are displayed correctly the polygon to be dis to be clipped is called subject polygon sp Clipping region is called clipping polygon CP. The new boundary creating by clipping the SP against the CP are identical to portion of the CP. No new edge are created as the number of resulting polygon are minimized. The basic idea in the polygon in the algorithm is that instead of always proceeding around the polygon edges or vertices are processed, follow the window boundaries. Path we follow depends on the polygon processing direction, maybe clockwise or counterclockwise. For an outside to inside pair of the vertices, follow the polygon boundaries. For an inside to outside pair of vertices, follow the window in the clockwise direction. So there will be different scenarios like determine the intersection of the subject and clip polygon. If the edge enters the clip polygon, record the intersection point and continue to trace the subject polygon. Process is known intersecting polygon borders. Establish two holding lists, one of boundary which lies inside the clip polygon and one for boundaries which lies outside the subject polygon. Create two intersection vertices list. In this, one, the Entering list contain only the intersection for the object polygon edge entering the inside the clipping region. The other the leaving list containing only the intersection for the object polygon edge leaving the inside the subject polygon edge leaving the inside the clipping polygon. The intersection type will alternate inside the boundary. Thus, only one determination is required for each pair of intersection. Now, this is the scenario. Now, we, we have a polygon. After clipping, we got the vertices like 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 3, 2. Now, we are going to discuss the Curve clipping, curve clipping procedure will invoke non-linear equation. The boundary rectangle for a circle or other curve objects can be used first to test or for overlap with the rectangular boundary window. If the bounding rectangle for the object is completely inside the window, we 
saved object if a tunnel is determined to be completely outside the window, we discard that object. Now we can see that there is a rectangle window and having a curve after the clipping, we will get the result like this only. Another scenario is that text clipping. Text clipping is a process in which we remove those parts of the string that is outside the view plane called window. Based on the character recognition method, it may have two types, all or none string clipping, all or none character clipping. In case of text clipping, I will type all or none string clipping. In this method, consider the string that is entirely inside the view pen. Compare the windows coordinates with the string coordinates. Remove the thing that is partially or fully outside the window. Now we can have example. Like there are two strings, James, Mike. Before clipping, James and Mike, two strings. After after clipping, we will get only the mic that is completely inside the window. Another case is similar to the string clipping. It is based on the character instead of a string. This method. Character coordinates are compared with the window coordinates. Following are the conditions. First of all, select the character. If it is inside the window, then remove the character. If the character is fully or partially outside the window. Now we have different things. Paul, Adam, Peter. If we perform the all or none character clipping, then we will get the result like U L T E R. Adam. Adam is completely inside the window. However, Paul and Pedro, A and P, E, all characters will be clipped out. Thank you. That's all for the session.